Hey guys, what's going on? It's Acme Pax, and I welcome each and every one of you back to a new video. So today we have something very different. Uh, so this is the Revolution 2021-2022 uh, basketball, but it is not the hobby box. This is actually the Chinese New Year uh, box, and I got this by ordering a hobby box and expecting the hobby box, but getting sent this Chinese New Year box. And to be completely honest, I don't think these are out in North America yet. I looked everywhere to see uh, where you could buy these from, and the LCS store that I buy a lot of my stuff on online from uh, refunded me uh, down to what these go for from Panini. And um, so they go for about 150 bucks. And yeah, like I said, I don't think these are out in North America yet. Correct me if I'm wrong on that in the comments. But I'm really excited because I haven't really seen anyone rip this yet. So I I don't know. We'll have to see what we can get out of it. I have I know what we uh, what you could get out of it from last year's box. So Chinese New Year, uh, they come out with these every year, even though it's four months past Chinese New Year. Um, it is very different than the Revolution Hobby Box. A lot of people like the Revolution uh, or the normal hobby boxes better than the Chinese New Year's because you have that chance at Galactics and Lavas and all those really cool parallels. In the Chinese New Year, you do get 12 uh, exclusive parallels that can be numbered to 88 if they're emerald or eight if they're a hollow gold, but otherwise they're just base cracked ice. So the emerald and gold will both be uh, cracked ice as well, but the base is just uh, regular. Uh, Chinese cracked ice. So it's a very small set. Um, so we have base, Chinese New Year, uh, emerald, gold, or, so base, emerald, and then hollow gold. So base is non numbered, emerald is to 88, and gold is to 8. And then we have them in uh, rookies, and then of course autographs numbered from 28 down to 1. And I believe that is based off of jersey number, uh, if I'm correct. But yeah, I mean, we're gonna be looking for those rookie autographs from the top young players. If we hit one of those, that'd be awesome because Revolution is a very difficult set to pull autographs out of. But yeah, without any further ado, let's get into it. Very excited to get a, I don't know, sort of a, an early unintentional preview on this product. But let's see what we got. So five cards per pack, 12 packs per box. If it wants to open, there we go. All right. Let's just take them all out. Okay. Here we go. And as always, guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, but, wow. Subscribe. Uh, it really goes a long way in helping the channel grow and let me keep doing these bigger rips for you guys. So... These are just the base, if you guys haven't seen these. Very nice, very shiny. The card stock is not too thick on these, but awesome cards, very cool cards. Uh, Carmelo Anthony, uh, Valanchunas, and then, wait, so, <laughs> wait, this is nuts. This is an Astro. Maybe this is not a, did I, did I look at that right? Did I look at that right? Okay, so you guys see this, right? Chinese New Year parallels. You saw me open the box, <laughs> and maybe this is just a standard, standard Revolution box because that should not be in there. <laughs> um, okay, well, that's RJ Barrett. That's an Astro, I believe. Yeah. So I think they just had it labeled in the box wrong. Okay. Um, interesting. Nice one, Panini. <laughs> okay, so then. Vortex, Joel Embiid. Very cool. So that's one of the inserts. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I already talked about what you can get out of the normal revolution. So yeah, this is kind of exciting now. I was kind of looking forward to it, but also kind of sad that I didn't get my normal revolutions uh, hobby box. So this is going to be fun. <laughs> All right. Dylan Brooks, Cole Anthony, Tyrese Halliburton. One for the PC, and then I believe this is called a Groove, correct? That's Kyle Lowry, who just went literally... Yeah, that is a Groove, so non-numbered. Cool card, though. 
Awesome. Yeah, Kyle Lowry just went 0 for 6. Put up a solid 0 on the stat sheet in his last game. So, uh, Jericho Sims, rookie card. Awesome. I'm, I'm kind of in shock. Uh, so, they put a normal Revolution hobby box into a Chinese New Year box. Interesting. Interesting, Panini. Okay. Dame, Miles Bridges... And then got an upside down. And what's up, LeBron? Okay, Kyle Kuzma. I believe that one is called the Impact, correct? Yep, that is an Impact, and that's number two, 149. Awesome. Very cool looking card. I like how it's it's like kind of Kaboom-like. Nice. Very cool. And Kuz is a good good player. I like him. And then Supernova, that's uh, Steph, about to, you know, they play tonight. I'm recording this a day early, but they play tonight. They'll probably, I'm assuming they're going to close it out against the Mavs tonight. We'll have to see, though. So, so it did say five cards per pack and 12 packs per box, but <laughs> we are not anywhere close to that. So yeah, this was in fact a normal box of Revolution Hobby. Uh, Jimmy. And then Jared Butler. I don't know what that one is, actually. That's the Sunburst, and that's number to 60. That's pretty cool. It's a rookie card. All right, Jared Butler, nice. Numbered to 60, awesome. Always nice to get a, a rookie in these low-numbered parallels. And then Scotty Barnes. Nice. That is, that's very good. Didn't even see that. Get the rookie of the year. Man, these cards are just so cool. I absolutely love this set. And, you know, it's really, you really don't break the bank on it. Except you're not guaranteed anything out of it. So if you do get something good, it's worth even more. Okay. Got Steph, and we got Levine. He could be on the move. Got Aaron Gordon, and then looks like we got an Astro De'Aaron Fox. And insert Rookie Revolution Zaire. Awesome. That's a nice card. Very cool. Oh, I'm missing. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then, yep, Astro, Deer, and Fox. Very cool. Got a few packs left on this. Let's see what we can pull. Okay. Donovan Mitchell, Spider, Sexton, John Collins, and then, ooh, what do we got here? We got a die cut, and it's Anthony Edwards. Very cool. Liftoff. That is a die cut. So it's, it is literally a Z, which is really cool. But yeah, awesome. I don't think these are numbered. Yeah, that is a fractal though. So that's, that's very cool. Very, very cool. Got to be careful with these because the edges can easily get nicked. Awesome. Love Ant-Man. And then rookie, we got Joe Weiskamp. Nice. All right, two packs left. Let's see, maybe an auto. Be really, really cool if we hit. Oops. Drop that. We got a, one of the case hits, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Drew Holiday, another one for the PC. Very nice. Then Aaron Wiggins, rookie card. Okay, and that is a fractal. Very cool. Awesome for OKC. And then we got Luca Vortex. Nice. All right. Last pack. Let's see if we can get some magic. All right. You know what? I was, I'm pretty happy that this turned out to be the actual hobby box. Um, yeah. Have you guys ever had that happen where you get one thing when you're expecting the other and it turned out to be the thing you were wanting? <laughs> But yeah, Wendell Carter, got Uncle Drew, Kristaps, and the Pacers, 
Chris Duarte, that's an Astro. And Brandon Boston, rookie card, base. Awesome. So yeah, the Astros, not numbered, said that. But yeah, we got a lot of rookies in this. Normally it's harder to hit um, hit on these rookies in uh, this set. But yeah, very nice. We got quite a few in parallels, actually. Let's take a look at these again. So yeah, an Astro, Chris Duarte, Drew Holiday for my PC. Um, a liftoff, Anthony Edwards, and that is a fractal. And let's see, Zaire, Rookie Revolution, uh, not a parallel or anything. Those can be parallels. Uh, Scotty Barnes, base. Got a Jared Butler, uh, Sunburst, that's number to 60. And then a Kyle Kuzma, Impact, uh, to 149. So very cool set. If you guys like flashy colors and lots of foil, this is definitely the set for you. And again, it doesn't break the bank, but you are not guaranteed anything out of the set. Very fun rip though. Very, very fun rip. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm still in shock that that turned out to be the actual hobby box. Um, as you guys saw, it was totally sealed and the box just happened to say that it were the, that they were the Chinese parallels, but you no, know, I'm happy it turned out to be this way. But that's going to be it for this time. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.